This is 2024. It's what? 2024. We watched every sci-fi film that takes place in 2024. That's right. I don't know about every. And Most they, uh, of them. We watched three films. One. On, give me a, give me your YouTube voice. Faster than time itself. Beyond the time barrier. Mankind was made sterile in a great cosmic plague. A new Adam and Eve are the only male and female left to repopulate the world. Everyone's just looking at that movies. sweet, sweet, good jizz. All the jealousy of a she-devil frees the bloodthirsty killer slaves. The last survivors of the human race are doomed to murder in a killer orgy by vicious subhuman mutants. We challenge you to see the most terrifying picture ever made. See the picture of your life or death. Anyway. Beyond I think the, that was a back in the day thing. Beyond the time barrier. We learned about. Oh yeah, we watched that. Because, you know, you had the sound barrier. And if you fly really fast, you break that. And then they're like, what can you break? The speed of sound? How about the speed of time? And he did. And then he went. To 2024. Okay. But next Google search. Well, <laughs> I mean, I. How expensive. Tonight. How expensive are Bukkake parties? We'll find out on this episode of I'm down it's, uh, the price is right we should do the price is right but only like the filthiest dirtiest most disgusting things we can think of I'm down for that colorize who colorized Lay down, this? Didi. wait so this movie was made in black and white back when they had full on jet fighters so that looks like a 70s jet fighter that's a 50s jet fighter that's no an way. F-102 is yeah. it? yes it's hard to see all these fucking credits in the way it's Obviously an F-102. Arthur C. Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> Lester Guthrie. Pop Guthrie. We Ed got Grip. the Guthrie boys. Edgar Ulcer. What? <laughs> it's not an Ulmer. It's not an Ulmer. Hells yeah. Pepper. <laughs> that was okay, Wicked boy. Green right before the cut. Yeah. I like it though. Makes it slightly it's like bizarre. That's a 50s jet? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you know, right. like the classic cartoons and sometimes you guys are missing like, valuable okay, exposition. Hero, you right. Shit. Boy, you better cut out on some of that waiter. I'm going to ground you. Yeah, look who's talking. <laughs> We're in the Air Force. Yeah, me too. Nice suit. That looks like weird S&M gear. Hmm. Did they know they drew a weird dip the on there? And re -entry. Ooh. They don't make movies like they used the to. Movie, you know? I'll say that. Man, you, man, man at chalkboard. Like Progressing from position one to twenty. The you're going through those positions people real people fast. Can yeah. you name twenty positions? Up, cowgirl. down, left, Reverse right, cowgirl. cockeyed, upside down, missionary. right side Reverse up. Reverse missionary. Backwards. Spider monkey. Inside. Reverse spider monkey. To the left of. Sixty-nine. Nice oh, shot. Look at this tilt. 50,000 feet, Colonel. That was very oh, clear. Oh, we ran out of stock footage okay, to illustrate that. <laughs> oh, ventral fins. Whoa. Yeah, those are going to really help him in space. Yeah. <laughs> and the Lord be with you. Over. Oh. Jesus is my co-pilot. What is it, Mark? I'm not sure. I'm not I'm sure. Not, <laughs> I'm not confident <laughs> in that. Beat me. Whoa. Oh, he's about to chuck. It looks like a yeah, this guy he's is, about to up chuck. He is not well. <laughs> I should have had those pickles. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. What? Yeah. So is their X-80 in a different dimension? I'm not sure. He's traveled forward in time to 2024. No. <laughs> Back to stock footage. Oh, well, I seem to be lost. Uh, is this New Brunswick? Whoa, you guys are going to need a mover. Did they have a party without me? Why wasn't I invited? You know, Marty, you're just jealous. <laughs> We're you're flash, flashing back to you know, you may be the exposition scene from five minutes ago. Yeah. That helmet must be really comfortable. All right, you guys can come out now. I'm really surprised. If I was ever in a movie, I would definitely insist on wearing some goofy helmet like that. His face is so, like, red. Oh, my God. His future is full of furniture falling down. Why was there a piano? Oh no, yeah. not the bass piano. It was one week from retirement. <laughs> hey! Anybody here? <laughs> he goes to the strip club. Immediately. Cinnamon! To Andy! Where are you? What happened to the, the pavement? Alright, that's accurate for 2024. Roads are <laughs> yeah. utter shit. Look at how real this future looks. Dude, go that way. He's just in the woods and then it cuts to a weird <laughs> painting. 
Yeah, he's walking that way. Oh, it's the Eye of Sauron! He can see you! Totally. It's, it's a Zardoz TV at? pyramid. Oh. It is. You're dead. You got a zigzag! We got you in our triangle. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was... Wait, those guys came out of nowhere. Got a lot of oh, different no, camera no, no, angles no, no, on this pyramid on TV. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Unleash the power of the pyramid. What are you doing to me? This mouth... Listen, what are you doing? Is this gonna be a rape or something? Who are you people? Where am I? In a hospital or something? Where am I? One question at a time, please. That guy waited a little bit. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> as long as a woman's wow. touching him, he's like, I'm complacent, I'm complacent. Yeah, he's like, out of sight, man. You wanna a touch me more? A woman's touch, huh, BB? Out of sight. You're calming. I'll come down if you touch me. Oh, we got some uh, tubes. Yeah, what is that? Everything's tubes. made out of pyramids and tubes. What do you think we're gonna say about you while you're gone? The See, what are those porn. those black circles? It's Pornhub, but like <laughs> in Literally ball form. <laughs> yeah, I need I need two milfs. Hump and watch at the same time. Jeff's got one. What is this you're wearing? This symbol. What is this? New devices to deceive us, Master. <laughs> what is their, uh, their symbol? Before, they do yeah, it's, it's overly like complex. It's, yeah, it's like a hammer and sickle and an omega. Inside an omega. What was your purpose in coming here? I'm not sure. I don't have any purpose. You lie. You <laughs> were spying on our solar energy installation. How did you find us? Where are your people living? That part. I don't know myself. <laughs> I don't impossible. know myself. I'd like someone to tell me something that makes some sense. Other nations, mutants. Yeah, this could have definitely business. been helped with a soundtrack. Very clever, my supreme, but I have a plan. I can use him to our advantage. <laughs> Even the doors. <laughs> oh look, the fashion of the future is like. wrinkly bald caps. They cannot escape. Escape? Escape from what? You are escape. You ran from the plague. What plague? When? These guys are hilarious. <laughs> pyramid wife. Oh, pyramid wife. Pyramid <laughs> wife. Nice. Young man, my granddaughter has chosen to protect you. We've needed some new jeans around here. We've been getting pretty inbred. We need some 1950s jeans. I mean, everyone's a fucking deaf mute now. Everyone is a deaf mute except for those in the exposition department. That looks great. Uh, just pink. Thank you. Yeah, but it's yeah. just boot. Thank like, you. Paste. Cubes. Is it just cubes? Big cubes? Pyramids. They just all eat Mexican food. And he's like, I can't Every handle day. Mexican food. What? It's too spicy. Are Everything you... here is Taco Bell. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? You know what I'm thinking right now. Exactly what happened and how oh, yikes. Here. You and all the people here once lived in this city, is that right? No? Slide number four. <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather, the Supreme. How did he get grandfather from <laughs> fucking charade to master a, this guy? Why did they abandon that city and move to this subterranean world? I'm not sure. <laughs> he, she can't speak, but he keeps asking her questions that aren't yes or no. Yeah. Was it the plague they told me about? Oh, of course, the plague. Oh, I understand this. Uh, I was in the Ch shampoo morning, accident. Hour, every... What happened to your father and mother? <laughs> this guy. He's so dense. Yeah. Shampoo accident. And they all choked. I don't know what kind of shampoo accident you could end up with. They didn't lather. They didn't lather enough. Next thing, next thing, next thing you know, the ozone layer is gone. Oh, the oh, future stairs. elevators. I just love really that cool. they left all everybody's the door feet flapping around going yeah. on, but no soundtrack. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> hey, that's cool. You never laid underneath the Christmas tree and looked up? Irina gives me to understand that you are one of us. I don't know. I'm not sure. You seem very confused about your sexuality. <laughs> I'm not sure. He this just really passes the Bechdel test. Been in this place a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> the women are all like no deaf mute. I had hoped that you'd be able to explain it. Do not excite yourself. What year was your flight in? I told you today, this morning. But what day and what year, Major? It is important we know. March 5th, 1960. He's from before the plague. Well, what is this plague I keep hearing about? You really don't know, do you? No, I don't know. I don't know where I am or how I got here. And I don't know who these people are in the Citadel, either. Ren has found herself a big... Oh, she can talk. 
<laughs> He's like, Sorry, everyone yeah, what's except for us two are deaf mute. Yeah. Yeah. When he actually meant, like, just this one bitch is a deaf mute. I don't know that I like what you have on your mind, Captain. <laughs> what kind of female are you? He's Even asking if she's transgender. Things you didn't want her to know. What kind of female are you? Trans. Oh. trans. He's, he's really woke. Ooh. There we go. That's this right here. It does sound like it. <laughs> it just keeps going. Why are they doing? Is that why they're deaf and mute? And sterile. And, Except for oh, wow. Oh, they're all hey, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I want to go to 2024. Hot, hot sperm. God, wouldn't we feel that it's 2024 right now? Trirena has chosen you as her mate. You're the last hope of this society. I don't understand it. There wasn't any plague this morning. When did it happen? Major Allison. He still thinks it's 1960. He skips over the whole mate. Of course I know what year it is. This is 2024. It's what? 2024. The plague we are talking about, it hadn't happened in the New World in 1960. It began in 1971. When man set foot on the moon, all nations started to work together to push on into space. <laughs> By 1970, colonies had been established on both Mars and Venus. And if Venus? It wasn't a war, what did cause it? A bombardment of cosmic radiation from outer space. The tons of radioactive dust that have mushroomed up into the ionosphere since the very first A-bomb test. And it's slowly destroying the protective screen. Time the again. ozone layer. So what we need is some sort of you? giant laser shield. Yes. Oh, wow. if the only there was some immortal genius guy to help yes. invent one of those. We wouldn't have to live in these pyramids. What's happened to them? How can I find out? Has he Tell said anything that's not a question in like an hour? Yeah. <laughs> evacuate. Evacuate. Even when he like makes an interjection, it's still with a question mark. To the colonies. <laughs> I believe she's returned to her chambers, Captain. She's whacking off. I think she's expecting a visitor. We're going to nah. teach you about the birds and the bees. I need you to go in there with my daughter, okay? I'll tolerate no more of your scheming. If you persist, I'll see that you're back in the dungeon. He said no scheming. He didn't say no planning. Got to get to the major before they convince or plotting. Day. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's... Save Why make a one piece two colors? This is true. I like how the elevator yeah. door is like as tall as them. Yeah, <laughs> like shorter right here. Also, those are just like M14 rifles. Yeah. It's just standard issue 50s rifles. They didn't try to make any sort of laser gun or nothing. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Laser guns. I don't think we got laser guns in any of these. Although people dress like that all the time. There. Right? Do they have laser guns? Uh, they have weird guns in Highlander, don't they? Yeah, I think it's the like feature a rocket gun or something yeah. stupid. Yeah, it makes things explode. Oh. Makes things explode. Well, they're not Earth technology. Those are Cut. ice technology. Yeah. Cut, pet, pet. Did you get to fly? Did yeah. she? I don't know. Maybe she's she, she is freaking out. Imagine. You, you need me to cream pie you? <laughs> <laughs> Get whipping, Grandpa. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey. I want to talk to you. She can't talk. Wake the hell up. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry about the things Marco said to you. It's okay. I did hear that. I don't believe any of the things they told me. Oh, my. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Those lips. They just met. So you need me to cream pie you? One blink for yes. <laughs> 100 for no. I keep forgetting you. Read my thoughts. I wish you couldn't. Uh, that was a very weak slap. Yeah. <laughs> There's some dude right there opening that door. <laughs> yeah. With something in his hand. Is he gonna hit his head going through it? Uh, you could say that about a few things in this situation. Get the fuck out. Is that a reference to their servants? Yeah. <laughs> Cruzy has to see you. He has a plan. We may he's not supposed to, to be playing him. Back to your own time. Yeah. No, he's not supposed to be scheming. Oh, that's right. Yeah, if I don't yeah, he's playing. He's play okay. What Cruz and Borman do? What phenomenon did bring me here? Who knows? It is what we know as a relativity paradox. Is she making By a wedding cake? <laughs> at speeds approaching that of light, it is possible to break the time lock. Ten thousand miles an hour is approaching the speed of light. Let me show oh, you. good. This is. We needed a chalkboard. Yeah. Uh, I, don't even know. Have I was, I was really. Earth 
I really needed someone to explain that. That's how you know this is a bad version of the future. They don't even have whiteboards. Fucking chocolate. At some point during your high speed flight, you approached escape velocity. Did they not know that? Escape velocity. Is time time? That you altered your flight. He wasn't anywhere near escape velocity. He just said he was going 10,000 Time is irrespective of gravity, but that's not even true. Time is mad. There are plot holes in the physics in this film. Is that a cake right behind them? That's what I said. <laughs> Looks delicious. And if I repeat the altitude, and she's like, "Can I come be part of your science talk?" No. Yeah. No girls allowed in science talk. Yeah. You turn those knobs and dials. It looks like she's fixing a vending machine. Here, I'll show you how to turn a knob and a dial. And here's our frappuccino machine. No, I won't turn her against her own people. <laughs> That's against Air Force protocol. You, pick up my track me. Okay, we'll pour that in there and uh, oh, what? a little vanilla. Pyramid <laughs> Why one. would he pour more into that mess, though? That was a huge mess. <laughs> He's just like, You don't understand pyramid chemistry. No, do explain. Step one. Be in a pyramid. Slavery. Step two. <laughs> Collect mutant goo. goo. Mutant pubes. Step three, you go to the chalkboard, you draw uh, Mutant pubes is a good band name. Oh. Ooh. Maybe if we watch them walk down this hallway a little bit longer, we yeah, understand what's happening. Yeah, almost the exact same shot as earlier. Ooh, he yeah, likes what he sees. Oh, me, oh my. He's peeping Tommen. He is. We oh, it's one of those things. So. She's wearing that. What, 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 what is going on in this medallion thing? I like what is it. that design? Dude, honestly, I'm really into it's her. It's a sewing machine. And that outfit. With swords crossed. It's almost like a, a nun look. Yeah, it's a very habit. nun-like. Our observer cited mutant scouts Finally, again yesterday. Finally, a close-up of that beard. Mutant this scouts. Time for great mutant scouts? Mutants have scouts. There's Came three back. sides. That's a second faction. And then there's a third faction of mutants. There are three sides to a pyramid. And he's not even trying to yo Jimbo this shit. He's <laughs> just like... <laughs> not true. Would you like to hear an alto? No, so a pyramid can't have <laughs> three sides and Dude, a base. He about hit his head. What if they tortured him? There's like a giant pyramid moving very slowly. It's gonna like punch him in the dick. I can explain to you forever. You'd never understand. You just threatened to do exposition for the rest of the video. What do you got on your desk? I was mentioning that earlier. Are we talking about the Pornhub balls? It's just two big black balls? It's a Pornhub ball, so you can fuck it while you watch it. I've never been in one. Like a fleshlight, but it's like a flesh ball. And an iPad all in one. Because in the future, all porn sites are Pornhub. They won the porn wars. Yeah. He's lucky she's so snoopy. She's going to save him. I like how uh, everyone's snooping around these pyramids. Yeah. Because there is like... You can always see their feet. They're peeking their head, but like, their yeah. legs are just finally out. Everybody's They'd have feet. to like really angle. Is that what they're for? They're like anti -snooping. Yeah, they just don't show it, but everybody's actually really well I like angled. the concept of all the spies in the infirmary just have like shin injuries. Like, oh, they, they saw my shins. They shot me in the shin. Ow. It's just like cotton. Oh, really. a knife. Dude, stab it. Which is... In the future. Yeah, in the future. We've got M14s and we've got knives. Scientists are saying the future is going to be far more futuristic than they originally predicted. Hmm. Maybe it's a vibro knife. Ooh. God, right in the spine. Is this pegging? <laughs> Why is I'll that light going wacky? Free. Pit of death. So to let out all of the mutants. This is footage from another movie, yeah. for sure. To let out all of the mutants, she stabbed one guy. <laughs> those those people weren't even dressed up the same way. I know. That's stock footage from another movie. I didn't think for one minute the Supreme would change your mind. I'm gonna tickle you with my beard. Now you're my responsibility. Welcome to the pit of death. Oh my yeah, god, they snuck out of it. nowhere. We couldn't see their legs. <laughs> The whole plane is just get him back in his plane and then he goes back in time. Does it have fuel? Maybe. You can't take her back through the time barrier with you. I'll try anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Not for long. No. Oh! He, he shot too early. He shot, the, he shot her in the shin. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Man, those mutants are fast. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of calisthenics in the pit. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. 
Rip off his ball cap. Oh, these are rapey mutants. Yeah. <laughs> we used a fair amount of footage there. Yeah. Where is he going to put it? In the cat pit time. Uh, finds a way. That future girl got shot? Yeah. But I guess, you know, she will never exist. Or she'll exist, but it'll be fine because well, he fixes the timeline. Yeah, he's going to be like a 90-year-old man and he finds He tackled her. him through a jump cut. Yeah. I he was tackled like, him through the time barrier. That was a hard cut. He just took her kidney and put it in his suit. It's always good to have an extra one. He's going to go sell those kidneys. Someone who's had several kidney stones. You're going to want an extra one. <laughs> that sounds like he's got too much kidney. What if this is all a dream and he actually was just like fell asleep at the pyramid? <laughs> oh, I'd be, I'd be pissed. I he, hate, he had some shore leave. I, I hate the, the fake outs in movies. As long as we believe, there is always hope. I yeah. really have no idea what's going on now. It's like there was a war going on. They're and walking they're slowly just, to his plane. They're I just think. moping around. <laughs> oh, that one just fell out. <laughs> oh, I like that. Double shake? Yeah, the double shake, the, the, the that, over under is that shake. That and then he just gets back in his plane. I'm out of here. Back to the sweet, oh, sweet. But we sped up the footage baby. to make it look better. But it's reversed, right? I He's going so. right to left this time. Yeah. It's going the other direction. Because the direction you go is important. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the guy with the chalkboard told me about. Which guy with which chalkboard? The second. Will I have the same effect? Oh, the time barrier, guys. Yeah, back, yeah there it is. Oh, oh there it is, time barrier. Time. Interesting. We got more stock footage. He's got massive diarrhea. He keeps pooping. Oh my God. Ah. He's turning into Robert Redford. <laughs> What's to How does that make any what sense? This? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, the Pentagon should have been a pyramid when he came back. That'd be cool. Connect me with Secretary Lloyd Patterson's office. Urgent. Name dropping. Lloyd I know Patterson. Lloyd Patterson. Everybody. Hey, uh, Connie. Just. Man gets in car. Man gets in plane. He showed me the way out of the Citadel. I got to my plane. That's all I remember. 30 minutes later, Allison brought the ship in for an emergency landing. What was that? Now, the odd thing about that's it a boom. Is, this, is that the boom mic? That's a boom right mic. Re Dr. Richmond and I are convinced that he is as mentally sound right now as any normal, well-balanced person can be. Any well-balanced non-hippie. <laughs> yeah. The cosmic plague. None of us should go through it. We've got to prevent it. Prevent what, son? The, the cosmic, cosmic plague. plague. Marty, we've got to stop it. This is Terena's ring. The Supreme gave me. So. What's happening? Gentlemen, another successful yeah. LSD experiment. Oh my God. Do you think the funding for the film came from a pyramid scheme? Oh my God. Invest $5 no in this movie, talk to five friends, get them to invest $5, and everyone gets a cut of the back end. There's no back end. <laughs> That's the scheme. That's, the That's scheme. why he said no pyramid scheming. Scheme. No pyramid scheming is Pyramid scheming is off limits. Pyramid planning. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's a shape that fits all other shapes inside of it. No, nope, that's... So this is a movie about a man travels forward to 2024 and is like, this, this sucks. Can I go back in time? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, beyond... I think the, that was a back in the day thing. Beyond the time barrier. He, the most terrifying picture ever made. We learned about... Oh yeah, we watched that. And then he went... To 2024. 10,000 miles per hour, and that's fast <laughs> enough. In, in a jet fighter. Oh, and extra flaps. And it had yep. a, ventral, a ventral fin. Or ventral two fins. ventral fins. Yeah. To help fly through space. Well, the X-15 did have an extra, like, tail on the bottom that you couldn't land with it. It's, like, sticking out too far. So it, they'd just jettison it before they landed. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. Well, it's maybe a thing. You need a little extra fin yeah. down there for your rocket. But he specifically deployed it. them when he was in space. Yeah. To deal with all the air currents. It's something. The future of fashion is wrinkly bald caps. Ah! What kind of female are you? The original, the time machine, H.G. Wells. He goes yeah. forward in time. Yep. Give me that in 40 seconds. There's a top layer of normal people and a bottom layer of mutants. Yep. 
And I another. Said Forty seconds, not nine seconds. I'm gonna pet it. There's another group of people. The Morlocks, which live underground, and the other ones. Which but then you find out that movie. the Eiffels are actually the bad ones because they force the Morlocks to stay underground. Stratification thing. It's not socioeconomic. It's socioeconomic biological. We have like divergent evolution. Yeah. So we have, you know, the surface mutants and the underground good people or the surface good people and the underground mutants or some variation on that. Yeah. That's the time machine. That's beyond the time barrier where the mutants are on the surface or in a pit in the Citadel. Yeah. The good people live in yeah. a pyramid. The underground. The pit of But there's they also live... another group of people that escaped the plague sure. but came back right. later. But then in A Boy and His Dog, you've yeah. got the civilized people living in a vault underground. Underground. My reproductive organs are intact. And the mutants on the surface and total chaos of civilization. And then Fallout is based on that. You've got the various uh, vaults keeping the 50s alive down yeah. in this vault. Go to old fashioned values. Beyond the time barrier and a boy and his dog are both showing like, well, this is just the 60s way into the future. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 70s way into the future, but they are doing it on accident. Yeah. Whereas in Fallout, it's like, no, this is the 50s. Yeah. This is fine. Very tongue in cheek. Beyond the time barrier, it's very much like, this is what people in the 50s think. Yeah. The future will be like, it's all in pyramids. <laughs> sure. It's all but upside down. So pyramids. Many they all dress like pyramids. Ghostbusters. Yeah, the scientists should have had uh, circle glasses, wire frames. That's my biggest uh, judgment of the film, really. <laughs> That's, the, <laughs> That's it. That was the worst thing. I, you know what? The glasses. He should yeah, have had different it just glasses. really uh, got under my skin. Do we have any more to say on Beyond the Time Barrier? I mean, we said a lot during it. You ever laid underneath a Christmas tree and looked up? Bedtime barrier. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Bedtime barrier is actually good. So you've got a civilization defining uh, symbol for me? Yes, sir, I do. And here it is. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. So I started with an Omega because that represents the end of the world. Oh, great. That's a really optimistic symbol to rally all the people around. What now? That's the goal, you know, like a flag or a, a symbol, a logo for all the people to really rally around. Oh, you mean like a swastika? I, well, I could just pop a swastika on there real fast. Nope, 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 shut, quit, nope, nope. Say what now? Wait, what kind of chalkboard is that? Oh, it's just a um, colored chalk. I got it from a not time traveler, regular guy. Anyway, my main thought was, what if instead of just a symbol, it's also a warning? Ooh, dramatic. What are we warning them about? The cosmic plague. You know, the reason we live in these uh, upside down pyramids. Oh, right. The cosmic plague. I keep forgetting. But is it going to be hard to warn people about a, comp a cosmic plague with just like a simple logo? Oh, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? See, I'm going to pop a V right here. Now that represents the ozone molecule. And then the cosmic rays hitting the upper atmosphere because there is no ozone. That creates this shower of particles, radioactive stuff it makes, including the phosphorus 32, which your body uses phosphorus 32. It puts it in your bones. You get radiation poisoning from your own skeleton. Getting poisoned by skeletons is tight. So this is a warning that you need to supplement with non-radioactive phosphorus. But what if your society's collapsed? You can't just pop down to the drugstore to get phosphorus supplements. Right, right, right. So this symbol is more than just a symbol. It's also a recipe. Oh, so this is a logo only to be understood by Tom Hanks with long hair and an upside down pyramid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, interesting. Yeah, see, a German guy named Christian Friedrich Schonbein is the one who discovered ozone, right, symbol. And when he discovered it, he said it smelled like phosphorus. So you got part of a swastika, German, you got the ozone, right? That you, oh, Schonbein, phosphorus. Why not just make the symbol like a P for phosphorus? Or just like write words. This is, this is a busy logo. You could just write the words like... Uh, the Holy Grail is actually this lady, and her address is 1414 Da Vinci Way. Well, because the movie has to happen. Fair enough, but how are people going to know how to make phosphorus? Well, you see, phosphorus was discovered by another German guy, German, named uh, Hennig Brand, and he was trying to find the Philosopher's Stone. Couldn't he have just gone to a bookstore? No, see, the Philosopher's Stone was a, a mythical item that could turn crap into gold. Oh, you mean like take the ramblings of an insane person and turn it into a billion dollars? Yeah, 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 that's what a Philosopher's Stone is. So anyway... German guy, he was trying to find Philosopher's Stone, and he was like, hey, urine's kind of gold. So he boiled hundreds and hundreds of gallons of it. Oh my God. So he boiled it and boiled it and boiled it some more. And so all that was left was a 
pale green goo that glowed and that's how phosphorus was discovered. So all they gotta do is boil their pee down, get a green goo and eat that regularly and then their bodies won't need the phosphorus from the sky and they won't get radiation sickness from their own skeletons and then they won't be sterile and then we won't have to wait around for good sperm coming from guys going beyond the time barrier. Hey, that's the name of the movie. But if you're just boiling the urine, is not that already got the radioactive phosphorus in it? Don't you need a new source of non-radioactive phosphorus? Well, the half-life is 14 days. So you wait about six half-lives and 99% of the phosphorus 32 will have decayed into sulfur just harmless. So you just store some pee, thousands of gallons of it, for about three months, and then you have people who drink nothing but that all the time, and then you collect their pee, you boil that down, and you get phosphorus from that, and it'll be only the good phosphorus. So then you make like pills out of their boiled pee, and then you do that for like a generation, and you'll have good sperm again. Wow, 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 wow. That's gonna be kind of tough to get people to do, don't you think? Oh, well, that's where the slavery comes in. Oh, it does. Yeah, 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 you just feed it to the subterranean mutants all the time. Hey, uh, you guys need some? You need coffee? Latte? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Thanks though, buddy. Are you sure? I think you're good? Yeah? No, no phosphorus? Oh, no, we're, I think we're good. You guys are my best friends. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Yeah, yeah, okay. So how are you gonna communicate this recipe to people? And that's going to communicate all of that information. Listen, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about this. Tom Hanks will know what to do. All right, you're the symbologist. So, what do you think? All right, I'll tell the Supreme, but I kind of doubt they're going to go with uh, really complicated, uh, impossible to decipher, unless you're Tom Hanks, recipe for boiled mutant pee as the symbol of our civilization. But I'll let them know for you. What was it? Just uh, a plague. Plague. Not an ozone layer thing, not a plague. Nuclear war. A Good old-fashioned nuclear war. A space plague caused by nukes that destroyed the ozone layer? I'm not sure. There was dust. Somebody said dust. Yeah, there was a big I think that's from the A-bomb tests. Yeah, there were A-bomb tests which caused dust. Fallout. Fallout dust. Pre-fallout. Before it falls out. Where is everybody? Anybody here? Who are you? What are you doing to me? I said, what are you doing to me? Can't you hear me? Get me out of this thing! Who, who are you people? Where am I? In a hospital or something? Where am I? What's wrong with you? Can't you understand me? I'd like to know where I am and how I got here and who all you people are. And, and the airfield. What's happened to it? Your society. Deaf mutes. You mean everybody? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. What do you mean, spy? What kind of talk is this? What are you doing? Who are you? What's wrong with you? Who are your enemies? Why? Who are these people in this citadel? Why are they hiding? Plague. Plague. Escape from what? And you've never lived in the air and sunlight, have you? Why did they abandon that city and move to this subterranean world? Was it the plague they told me about? What happened? What happened to your father and mother? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I am or how I got here. And I don't know who these people are in the Citadel either. What are you driving at? <laughs> what kind of female are you? Is that why they're deaf and mute? And sterile. Sterile? What do you mean? There wasn't any plague this morning. When did it happen? Of course I know what year it is. What's that got to do with it? It's what? An atomic war? And if it wasn't nuclear war, what did cause it? What's happened to them? How can I find out? What are you doing here? How can I possibly go back to my own time if I don't know how I got here? Why should it be me? Why not Cruz or Burman? Is that what you mean? You mean Terrain? What would I do without you? You do understand that, don't you? What about the time lock formula? What's the meaning of this? Yo, where are Cruz and Burman? You don't think I'd leave her here to face this? Are you reading me? <laughs> what kind of female are you?